My name is Michelle Heisler. Um, I live in Burns Park in Ann Arbor. Um, and I'm coming to talk today um, as a physician and a researcher at the University of Michigan. Um, with my, I have three um, current NIH grants, and as you may have heard, um, University of Michigan for the first time now has the highest number of NIH grants that has ever re received before, which is very positive. I now employ 20 people, um, and I hope to keep hiring more if I get more NIH grants. These employees, all of whom have at least a master's degree, earn fair to good salaries from 40,000 to 70,000 a year if they're a project manager. And my growing concern about the living options of my research staff has, called, has led me to come to speak to you today. Unfortunately, Ann Arbor does not benefit from these professionals as residents. Almost all of my recent hires have had to move to Ypsilanti, to the township. One went and lived with her parents in Toledo to drive in. Um, they don't want to live in a poorly maintained house with a group of students, nor can they afford to live in a single family house or a loft in downtown Ann Arbor. Um, and so many of them are living outside of um, Ann Arbor, whereas I think they could greatly benefit our community. Um, as you know, the Medical Center's acquisition of Pfizer is a remarkable opportunity for us. It's an opportunity to hire many new research staff. I actually will be moving to Pfizer um, in the next six months. There's a promise of great numbers of lab and, and research facility space. Um, we have a great opportunity to hire the best and the brightest from throughout the country. I'm now increasingly involved with trying to hire faculty and staff. And frankly, it's very scary. It's very hard to convince people to even look at Michigan. Uh, many people don't want to live in Ann Arbor because it's not next to a great city. And we often are very successful. We say Ann Arbor is a great city. It has wonderful cultural and natural resources. And then they come, and if they're young and they don't have families, they're very disheartened by the type of housing stock available for young professionals. Um, I have been back in Ann Arbor now for about seven years, and am now a homeowner at 65 Brook Street, but recently lived at 4 Marshall Court, which is directly in this uh, area adjacent to Moravian, for six years. Uh, my partner and I both work for new media companies in the area. We'd probably be considered a part of the creative class that everyone talks about trying to attract and retain. Um, but we were really looking for affordable housing options that were walkable or bikeable to downtown. Um, we made the decision that we were invested enough in the local community that this was a place that we wanted to stay. But it was extremely difficult for us to find housing options that were affordable. Marshall Court was wonderful, but it was uh, surrounded, the court itself was great, but it was surrounded by a lot of student rentals, which uh, the students themselves did not take a lot of pride in, and the landlords did not take a lot of pride in and keep up to um, what you would hope your neighborhood standard would be. I met with Jeff Holinsky, one of the uh, developers of this project, about a year and a half ago when I was still living in that neighborhood. Wasn't totally convinced that this was a right or appropriate project for the neighborhood, but still wanted to believe that we could create some sort of affordable housing for younger people and young professionals downtown. Uh, over the last several months, I've been following the Moravian Project, and I feel like a lot of the adaptations that have been made in good faith um, on both ends by the developers and by people who are kind of a little bit more open to the project at this point make a lot of sense. Um, so I've come to the conclusion that the Moravian is the type of project I'd like to support, Change is something that is going to be inevitable in every single part of your life, and I think that it's kind of a false dichotomy to either be pro or con um, development, but we really need to look at which developments are going to strengthen our communities, allow younger people to be living and making this a more vibrant downtown, and um, also I think that it's important to consider public safety. We lived in that neighborhood for quite a while, had a few problems with break-ins, and also had a friend um, be attacked and robbed in the parking lot of Fingerly Lumber, and that wasn't Fingerly's fault. But I do agree that although density is somewhat of a touchy word, more density and perhaps uh, more residents and activity in that area might improve the public safety in that particular area. So for those reasons and more, I would like to lend my support to the Moravian. Um, I'm here in support of the Moravian Project, but I understand that you have a decision to make. Um, I'm here in three parts. First of all, I am on behalf, and the most important to me is, on behalf of the local business that I support and manage. I'm the director of sales and marketing for Salon Box in downtown that, including myself, employs uh, 21 people. We're a small business, and 
I have very a lot of employees that would really, really like the opportunity to live downtown, but right now they don't feel like there's any viable and affordable options for them. Um, I'm also here as a Main Street Area Association board member, and the Main Street Area Association is in support of downtown density and um, smart growth. And I'm also here as a downtown resident. I live on South 4th Avenue, and I'm not too far from where this project is going to go. And I'm very familiar with the area because I often walk in this neighborhood, and I agree with a lot of the things that I've heard that this is a blighted neighborhood, and it could stand to be improved by this project. Um, just a few reasons why I support the project. The Planning Commission approved this 7 to 1. These are professionals who have been charged with determining whether or not this is a good project or not. And I definitely trust their judgment, and I agree with that. They, I agree with the fact that they approved this 7 to 1. This is a green project. Um, as a young person, it's really important to me to have environmentally friendly projects, um, things that are geothermally heated. This is a geothermally heated project. Um, something that creates park area in an area that doesn't have any right now. That's really important to me. Um, I do believe visually this contributes to the neighborhood. I also believe that as a destination this contributes to the neighborhood. Um, I walked downtown. I actually didn't make a judgment on this project until I actually walked downtown and I got a feel for how I felt about the houses that are there, exactly where the Moravian's going to go, and I truly believe that this is going to be an improvement. Um, we need places for young professionals to live. I recently moved here from New York, uh, probably about two years ago, and I really wanted the downtown experience. And the downtown experience for me and other young professionals who I've spoken with isn't divided, old housing, college housing as I would refer to it. People my age and people who are attracted to this community want to live in lofts, they want to live in apartments, they don't want to live in divided houses that are old and in disrepair, surrounded by other houses that are blighted. Um, this is also something that's going to boost our city economy in a time when we have a deficit. This is something that's going to boost tax revenues, and to me, I don't, I don't want to live in a city that is having financial issues, so we have to make other sacrifices in other areas. This is something that will definitely boost, boost the city's tax revenues as well. Um, I also, this is a huge point, bring, this project brings money to downtown businesses. I manage a business downtown, and it is so important to have people who live downtown, to have foot traffic to downtown, to have people who live downtown that don't just swoop into work and then leave and spend their money in Canton or any other surrounding areas.